we're just going to go to um, Adam and Adrian and they're going to bring us some Kingdom Keys and we're going to come back, we're going to talk some more. Thank you, Pamela. You know, this week we're going to, we're going to talk about our identity. It is so important for us to understand and know our identity in Christ Jesus. See, Jesus is the Messiah. We believe that. He's the one who came to take away the sins of the world. But not only that, he's given us an inheritance. Amen. Do you know that you belong to the kingdom of God and you're part of the royal family, the eternal royal family? We're, we're, we're bigger than what we are. We've got to understand who we are in Christ. Many people come into this world and I minister. We minister to so many people and we say to them, uh, you've got to understand who you are now in Christ Jesus rather than who you were. And if we know who we are, we can have authority over every power. I think that's the reason why we need to have our minds around, uh, transformed, as it were. You know, environment plays such an important part of our identity. And so I think what Adam's saying needs to be reinforced with uh, the kingdom. We need to feed on the kingdom, meditate on the kingdom, imagine the kingdom on a continuous basis so that that endorses and reinforces who we are in Christ. It's very exciting. And uh, we had a great testimony from Pastor Todd who shared about um, uh, that line park that he went to. You want to do that, Adrian? You know, he, he went to South America where he had a photograph taken with a full grown lion. He said he wanted to get out of that enclosure as quick as he could. But in that situation, they weren't drug lions. The lions weren't drug to have the photographs taken. When they were leaving the park, he saw lion cubs being raised with dogs. So puppies were, and dogs were whelping pups and lions were being, uh, as it were, growing up in that environment. The lion actually thought that it was a dog. It's important for you and I to realize that our environment, the world we live in, is not our natural home and that we should realize that we are those lions. So the question is, are you a dog or are you a lion? A lion is very bold, it's fearless. And this is how we've got to be in this world to overcome. Because Jesus said to us, he said to the disciples, I've overcome the world. That means you have overcome the world. So this is the exciting good news about the gospel that we have overcome and we have the authority to walk the way Jesus walked. It says in 1 John 2, 6, he who claims to know Jesus must walk the way Jesus walked. So this is very exciting. And uh, what do you reckon, Adrian? I think that if we knew who we were in Christ, like a lion, we would really recognize that our authority and start to exercise that authority. We'll see you next week.